Hey, you guys. Um, well, it's end of October. Halloween is tomorrow. I guess I kind of decided to uh, celebrate because I can do whatever makes me happy and everything will be okay. So even though Halloween did originate as a pagan holiday, um, I've decided to celebrate a little. I'm dressed up like a cheerleader today, varsity. Um, went to my first Halloween party. Um, but anyways, I don't want to talk about that today. I want to talk about something, well, something that might be related to um, Halloween. Some people might call it brujeria, witchcraft, but it's not. And what I want to talk about today is, these are natural herbs. Mmm, if you guys could smell it, it smells so delicious, so good. I want to talk about Limpias, Baño de Plantas Aromáticas, Cleansing Aromatic, Aromatic Bath Herb. There you go. You can get uh, something like this. It's all herbs, it's natural. You can get something like this at the Botanica, at the Botanica or, um, you know, somewhere in your area that has a lot of the um, candle work and stuff like that. Um, here in L.A., you can get it at any botanica, like where the spiritual healers are and all those um, spiritual type uh, characters are. Anyways. What I do, I haven't done it in a long time, but I started doing it now because now that I'm practicing the Law of Attraction, I'm working more with energies and vibrations, and then I finally remember that to clean your energies, to clean your vibrations, you got to do some cleansing baths. This helps a lot. It used to help me a lot before when I even, before I practiced the Law of Attraction. So now that I'm practicing the Law of Attraction, they're going to help a lot more. So what this does is this cleanses your vibrations, it cleanses your aura, it cleanses your spirit, your mind, your body of any negativity. It gets rid of any negativity that your body has attracted throughout your days, weeks, months, whatever. Because, you know, Everything is energy. Everything that we have, everything around is energy. Everything you're seeing here on this screen is energy. Even my lamp has energy. My hair has energy. I have energy. My little gold chain from Colombia has energy. Everything is energy. The computer has energy. So sometimes you attract some negative energy or people you know, spew negative energy at you and, 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 it, and it just kind of collects, collects in your spirit, in your aura. So you can do it without the cleansing baths, but it's a little bit more of a challenge, I think. So I like to use the cleansing baths, the herbs, to cleanse. And... You can find this at the Botanicas, like I said. What you do, I'm just going to tell you really quick, really briefly what you do. And do your own research. Find someone like a spiritual healer or go to a Botanica if they have them in your city. They're all over New York, L.A., <clears throat> Miami. And, mmm, smells so good. And then my whole apartment smells this beautiful when you boil these. Okay, so what you do is... I'm going to say it really quick because uh, I don't want to take up too much time, but I want you guys to kind of get the idea of what it is and then go see your spiritual healer, your um, nearest botanica, and find out more information or look up other videos that are more uh, detailed on how to do your cleansing baths, cleansing showers. So this is what you do. You boil the herbs. You, it's supposed to be a seven-day bath. They have 13 days, they have 21 days, they have 3 days, they have 1 day baths. I personally like to do the 7 day baths. So you take about, from this big huge bag, I took about 1 third or 1 fourth of what was in the bag and I boil it. 
because there's got to be enough for seven days. You save the rest. You use a little bit each day, so it'll last you seven days. So you boil the herbs, and it smells so beautiful. Your apartment is going to smell gorgeous, like flowers, beautiful. You boil it, everything, the whole, uh, enough for seven days. Not the whole bag, like one-third, one-fourth of it. Enough for seven days. You boil it, and then you let it simmer a little bit more after it boils, and then you let it cool off. You take it out of the oven, you let it cool off. Now there's going to be in the in the um, pot or whatever, there's going to be seven days worth or however many days you want to do. So you take, you pour onto another little bucket, a little container, you pour enough for your first bath and then the rest is going to stay in the pan, the pot, whatever. And then you let that cool off. Once you pour it, pour some into a container, let it cool off. And then you add some Florida water cologne. You can get this at the Botanica also. Florida water cologne. This smells kind of masculine, but it's part of the ritual. Um, so then you add that. Make sure that it's cooled off. Go and take your regular shower. You know, shower, wash your hair, your body, whatever. Do your regular shower. Bring that container with you into the shower, into the bathroom, and um, once you once you finish your shower, you're gonna pour that liquid, that herb water. You're gonna pour it that has Florida water in it. You're gonna pour it all over you. Of course, it's going to be drained. Make sure that you don't have any herbs in the water that you're actually pouring on yourself. So you're going to drain that. <clears throat> and you leave it in the pot until the last day, the seventh day. You're going to throw that out. But you pour the water, and then you say your prayer. You say, Thank you, God. Thank you, universe, for cleansing my body. Thank you for cleansing my spirit. Thank you for cleansing my mind. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever, uh, Padre Nuestro, whatever your holy, uh, you know, um, prayer is. Say that as you're pouring it all over yourself. And then uh, you step out of the uh, bathtub and you're going to have to let yourself air dry. You let your hair, well, you can dry your hair with your towel, but your body, you have to let it air dry. So you have to let that herb water that has been boiled air dry on your body. Once you do that, you light a candle, a little white candle. The guy at the Botanica told me to, you know, do this, pour, run it through all over through your body so that all the negative stuff goes in the candle and then it's going to be burned off. So you light a candle and as you light your candle, it's a little stick candle as you can see, this big. So you light your candle and at the same time you're saying your prayers, you're praying to God, you're praying to um, you know, your uh, spiritual guides, to your uh, guardian angel, you know, whoever you are believing in that's going to help you cleanse your spirit and your mind and your body. And you let the candle burn. And that's it. You finish. You let the candle burn out. And that's it. You finish your bath. You repeat that seven times. And it's going to cleanse your spirit, cleanse your energies, get rid of all the negativity, no negative energy, because everything is energy, if you guys know that. It gets rid of negative energies, and it brings you good luck, it brings you love, it brings you, you know, a lot of fabulous things, and just, you have peace within, I feel so peaceful. After that, after I finish that, since I'm letting myself air dry, I like to put on the nice, uh, down tempo CD like maybe uh, 
Brazilian Bossa Nova or an a Love Attraction uh, CD, and I play it and I just sort of relax and let it, you know, do its job, do its work, and that's it. It's a cleansing of the spirit, cleansing of the energies. Like I said, you don't need that if you're already advanced and you already know how to work with the law of attraction or whatever that gets rid of energies. But this stuff really helps. I've done it before and it really like gives you peace within and then it smells so beautiful. It smells really nice. So it's a really good thing to do. So good luck you guys cleansing your spirit cleansing your your auras um, some people say it's witchcraft brujeria to me it's not it's just cleansing my spirit and I'm and I'm uh, thanking God thanking uh, you know my uh, spiritual guides whoever they may be or my guardian angel and it's all done in the name of God in the name of, of love positive good things that come to you. So good luck with that.